All right, everybody, what is up? Today we're talking about a very specific issue that I had with my Snapmaker Lubin software. So I'm an Onshape user, and when I CAD stuff, I CAD it in inches, right? I, even, I live in the United States, and uh, we use the Imperial units here, unlike everybody else. So when I make everything, it's in inches. Now the Snapmaker Lubin uses the metric system, he uses millimeters. So when I would export something in inches, it would end up being really, really small because it wouldn't know how to use and convert the different scale types. So today we're going to go through, we're going to show you how to fix that problem and make it to where you can actually 3D print the correct size for your 3D prints. So let's head on up to the computer and we'll take care of it for you. Okay, so here we have Onshape open. We're going to be exporting this gear. So to export it, very simply, is going to go through right click, at export, and then we're going to go through and rename it 72 tooth gear, millimeter, that says geet, millimeter. And what we're going to do is export as an STL. Snapmaker says that Lubin uh, accepts STL and OBJ files. And this time we're going to go through and we're going to export it in millimeters first, right? Millimeters. Now we're also going to export it again, and we're going to export it as inches so 72 tooth gear inches and export unit inches and so this is where i ran into a problem the first time right i exported as inches the first time and it didn't quite work very well so if we go to our snapmaker lubin here you're gonna see that there are two gears here and one of them is a normal size gear this one over here and this one is really really small now I'm running Snapmaker Lubin 3.9. This is like a super old version of Lubin, but if they haven't fixed it and you're still having this issue, here's your solution. Uh, you need to go through and export it in millimeters because somehow it, it just takes the number and then converts it to millimeters. And so it makes it really, really small, right? So instead of it being in inches, it makes it into millimeters and it messes everything up. So to get around that, you can CAD in inches, do everything you want in the Imperial units, but when you export, go through, hit millimeters, and it'll end up totally fine in Snapmaker Lubin, and you can go 3D print it, and it'll be all good. So it is really simple. All you have to do is export in millimeters instead of inches. I don't know if this has been fixed in a, like a newer version of Snapmaker Lubin. If it is, let me know in the comment section down below. However, if it's still an issue, hopefully this helps you out, and hopefully this will make you not have a little bit of a panic attack whenever you uh, print it out and you go, wow, this is way too small, uh-oh. Anyways, if you want to see the initial cube that I printed out that was way too small, you can check it out in the first impressions video, uh, like right over here, I think. And yeah, you can go through and watch that. If you have any other questions about the stand maker, we've got tons of videos on here to help you out. So other than that, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.